thank you, Father. I love how he brings it all together. Isn't that amazing? And next, Amy Granger is going to share on business and economy. First thing that um, God said is that this month he is requiring a greater level of discipline in business finances. And the second point is we are to invest to expand kingdom business. And the third point is um, we are to be ready for a season of acceleration in the economy. So um, these words apply whether you are an employee, a business owner, or someone who um, has a destiny to be a business owner. And the Lord says, I am requiring a greater level of discipline in business finances this month. Listen to my voice so that you know exactly when to sow, how much to sow, where to cut expense, and how much to save. I'm requiring you to think sharper and not to coast and to even press in for the specifics because I am positioning you this month for an expansion. And as you discipline your mind to focus and, and be certain and sure of how you apply these resources, then you will be set in place to be able to be trusted with a greater level of expansion in the area of business. This is a month to invest in an expansion for kingdom business. That means adding key people who have a new dimension of creativity, who may be from other nations, new people that will bring to your business something that is necessary to connect you internationally so that new streams of income can come. I am connecting businesses globally in the marketplace and ministries. This is a month to see global wealth and global ministry working together. So as you take the hand of a new person into your business, know that I am going to honor your faith. My anointing will come, and you will touch the world with the miracle of abundance, even in developing countries. This is a month to step out in faith, and let me connect you with people who I have divinely purposed to expand kingdom business in the nations. In the economy this month, I am stirring and shifting. I am adding spice to bring prosperity, and I'm causing an acceleration to be set up for even the new year. So this is a time of preparation. There's going to be an abundance in the new year, or even in January, you're going to see that the, um, the new car sales and the jobs, um, the employment rate is going to be higher. The unemployment is going to go down. So this is a season to let your expectations arise. Let your hope be full. Expect a fresh fire and energy and even walk in it. Uh, walk in it in preparation and anticipation because your attitude and the energy that you um, apply to your faith will position you for the ex acceleration. Don't say, I'm going to wait till January, and then I'm going to have my resolutions in place, and I'm going to be ready for the new thing, because now is the time to get ready for the new thing. The Lord says, I'm, I'm uh, revving up you now so that you can be positioned for the prosperity in the economy. New ideas and revelations are going to come through dreams and visions. And so it's a time right now to get ready. It's a season to declare, declare.
declare the promises that you are expecting. And, and as the new year turns, you're going to be ready. You're going to be energized because you will have prepared in this now season. So let's stand and make some declarations. Father, we declare that we will walk in a greater level of discipline and sharpen our focus and that we will apply your financial resources according to your kingdom purposes. We declare that we will embrace kingdom vision in business and invest in resources which will impact global marketplace and global ministry. We declare that we will ready our hearts for economic acceleration and prosperity. We will walk in faith, hope, and great expectation. Amen.